So I've brought along famous Mr. Tony, who is, everybody in fact knows him, and I think you're known across London, to be honest. All the women come here for his help in choosing millinery. For me, I think the dress is predominantly beige with neutral colour and lilac is really, really, really in this season. So lilac would just be the perfect colour for weddings. We also chose this one um, as, in terms of quite an old-fashioned silhouette, but very timeless. More of an, I would say, My Fair Lady old school sort of style, big wide brim. I love the fact that it's see-through, you know, you can wear it over your eyes and we place it slightly further forward to make it more dramatic. And finally, we've gone down the headband route and we've got two headbands that Mr. Tony and I have chosen. One is Juliet Botterill, this sort of neutral straw colour. And then I think we thought that, if you were brave enough to wear a hat, which I love in the evening. That would work perfectly and you never have to take your hat off and you look as pretty as you when you arrived. Mm, yes. We're matching now. Matching. <laughs> An Amelia Wickstead dress, fit and flare, obviously very, um, you know, covered up, which is perfect for the royal enclosure. I think we chose this is because, as, as Sarah said, that Emily Wickstead is such a beautiful silhouette. It's very, very empire waist and flare at the bottom. So we chose this tiny little hat with the veil, and it just go almost like a 50s style. Quite a traditional piece of millinery. This one's by Whiteley. This is quite a 50 silhouette to me. This is sort of Grace Kelly. Last but not least, I've chosen this amazing Emily London. It's amazing if you see it up close. It's a stack of bows, one on top of the other. And obviously veiling is just so flattering. This is quite a show-stopping look. Paired it here with a Vivian Sheriff piece, which is actually suede based, which is quite unusual. Beige is suede, and suede is very elegant. And it's fun. Yeah. And it's fun, it's young, and it's, you know, it just, it's all happiness. I think one piece of advice, think about your hairstyling, because everyone forgets it. You put a huge amount of effort into your ensemble. Things like this, you want to hide. If there's an elastic, you want to hide it. You don't have to get your hair and makeup done by a professional, but you, you just pull it out, coax it out, so that you, know, you tease it over it, it just shouldn't be seen. One piece of advice for me when you buy a hat is to make sure that the hat fit and never, never tilt it below your eyebrow. And you won't be able to see. <laughs>